Hello and welcome to Build On Ideas and this is Six and Sunny. So from this video onwards I'll be creating a series of uh, tutorials based on the different add-ons which can be used in architectural visualization. So in this video I'll be explaining to you how to use the Blender Kit add-on which is a very famous add-on and it is an online asset library which can be used in Blender and quite a lot of models are very much free and some of the assets like the different materials which are PBR and very detailed as well as uh, different type of brushes which are available in Blender Kit is quite useful in doing some very good stuff in Blender. So we'll go into the video. So in order to activate Blender Kit we just come here into edit preferences and then just come here and then if you, you can just take this 3D view Blender Kit online asset library and then come here and then save preferences and then close it. And then this is available very much here by clicking on N and then you have a new tab out here. So just come here and then just give a login and you have all these uh, things available out here. And then if you just click here login and then it goes into the Blender Kit uh, website and you can see that I've already logged in. Just click on login and authorize. So if you don't have an account, please do sign up and then start logging into Blender Kit. So the Blender Kit is an online asset library and you can see that they have a website called BlenderKit.com. So that's where we are right now. And you can see here there are different options available out here. You have different models, materials and brushes. So if you just go click on materials, you can see different materials which are available in the free plan and it is quite a detailed material. You can see the different materials out here. Also if you just go to the models, you can see that all the models out here are not free. Some of them are free and they are also very detailed. And you have the brushes out here. If you just come here and go down, you can see quite a lot of brushes out here which are very detailed and can be used for different purposes. And if you see these brushes, to create one of these models in Blender, in sculpting, it is difficult. But if you are using this brush, it is quite easy for us to create these kind of detailing in Blender quite easily. So, so coming into Blender, now we are ready to uh, start using Blender Kit. You can see that we have different options out here to find models, materials and brushes. You also have a search bar on top of here which is getting activated when you activate the Blender Kit add-on. Now if you come here and start searching the models, you have a list of models out here. Also you have the options to uh, search for free only. So I'm just ticking on free only because I'm having a free plan out here. You can see already uh, some of the models which are available out here. We'll just start downloading one of these uh, models. So when you are downloading, you have one or two options out here to link this or to append it. So when linking it, you don't have access to the different materials or you can't edit any model. I'll just show you how we do it by just clicking on one of these. So I'll probably download this model into this. Just click on that. And you can see that this is getting downloaded. You can also search different models out here by clicking here and then search for the different items. Or maybe you can search in this library list out here as well. So it's getting downloaded for a while. It takes a while to get downloaded. Just wait for a while. And it depends on the uh, speed of your internet. Yeah. So you have this model inside. Uh, in order to uh, see the material of this, just have to click on this material preview mode and just wait for uh, the compilation shader compilation and you can see that the materials are available and it is a very detailed material so now you have used this linking option so in order to bring a linked model into this and start editing you have some uh, options available here so if you just click on this and then you can see that this is only a link. If I just click on this bring to scene, you can see one more item which is coming in and it shows all the items inside this model. So now if you just click on this and then go into shading, you can you can adjust the different properties of that and uh, you can make the adjustments for this and also you can if you want to make some changes in the shape of this as well, it's possible. Just go click on tab, you can edit it and make the different adjustments as required. So this is possible if you just bring this object into the scene. Now there is one more option available. I'll just come here and then I'll just move my cursor to a different position. So click shift and right click and then we'll just use the up and option right now. And then we'll find one of the other item. Maybe we'll just use vehicle. 
So if you just wait for a while you can see a lot of cars available here which is very detailed and uh, right now we are using only free only option. So I'm just using this model I'll just click here and you can see that the model is getting downloaded. Wait for a while you can see that it is getting downloaded. So it got downloaded the only thing is like it has been tilted in a different position what to do is like just come to the item and then you can see that the rotation of this model is tilted so you just come here and then right click and then select hierarchy everything is selected and then just come here and then click on zero 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 so that it is in position right now so this is basically a very detailed car and you can see that the materials and all the detailing of this is very detailed. So this is basically how we can download uh, different items into uh, Blender using the Blender Kit add-on. And you can see that when I use the append option which is available here, uh, we downloaded this car using this append option and you can see that it is directly accessible. All the items are directly accessible and then if you just go into shading and then select one of these uh, you can see that it is available here to edit so you can adjust the colors and steps like that and then uh, make the different changes as required and then use it in your model so this is how you download different models into blender using blender kit now i'll just show you how to use the materials so in order to do that i'll just take a new file and then uh, we'll add a plane into this so just zoom it and then go into the material preview mode and then click on N and then coming into Blender Kit we'll start searching for a material and then we have quite a lot of materials out here if you just go into one of these maybe a bricks and then wait for a while uh, you can see different uh, bricks out here just click and drag into this just click one of these and then it gets applied directly onto your mesh wait for a while to get it downloaded so it got downloaded and uh, you can see that the model is very well uh, detailed. If you want to edit this, uh, just have to come here and see how it is. So the main advantage of using this Blender Kit add-on is that once you get one of the materials downloaded, you can see that it is directly linked into uh, the model as well as you can see that uh, all the nodes have been uh, added and linked as per the requirement. So instead of uh, downloading one of the materials and then applying it uh, one by one, you have it ready made using this add-on. So this is the main advantage of using Blender Kit. So you can adjust it. Now I'll just show you one more material, which is an animate material. It is a water material. So I'll just click here and then go into Blender Kit once again and then just come down and go into liquid. So if you just go and find the liquid out here, um, yeah liquid and you can see that uh, there's a lot of water materials out here so if I just uh, select one of these uh, maybe I'll just use this one or maybe this one I'll just click here and then you can see that directly that material gets applied on top of this and uh, the main advantage is that uh, this is applied and it is animated so if you want to see the animation what you can do is like just go and uh, take a timeline and then just click on the space bar you can see that it is animated so this can be used directly into your scene and applied and uh, used it for different purposes in your workflow so it's quite easy for us to use blender kit add-on now what i'll do is like i'll just show you how to use the brushes so now to do that i'll just go and uh, select a new file and then add a plane so in order to show the brushes i have to go into the sculpt mode but before that what I have to do is like just go into the edit mode select everything and then right click and then subdivide subdivide it by 10 and then again you do 3-4 subdivisions to get a good mesh detail and then what you do is like just go into the sculpt mode now here if you just start uh, sculpting you can see that there is a, a, a symmetry on so I'll just do undo and then switch off the symmetry I'll also switch on the Dino Topo. So Dino Topo is one uh, feature available in Blender which helps us to do very detailed sculpting in Blender. So we we'll just tick this. This is dynamic topology. And what we do next is like we'll just go into Blender Kit by clicking on N Blender Kit and then we'll search for some of the brushes. 
and we have a lot of brushes in the library as well as you can search some of these uh, in this so come here and then maybe I'll search for uh, one of these I'll go for a stitch which can be demonstrated very well so I'll just go into this and then I'll select this stitch into this and then what I do is like I'll just click and drag now when I drag that you can see that the detail is quite low so what I do was like you know to get more detail just go into tools and then you can see the different properties of this brush out here so in this what I'm going to do is like come here and then you can see in the dyno topo you have some options out here I'm just going in and uh, ticking the smooth shading option as well as uh, reducing this from 12 to 1 now if, if I just go zoom it and then start clicking and dragging you can see that there is quite a detail on that if I increase it further uh, I'll get a more detailed version of this but the only thing is like if you are having a very lower end graphics card you may hang up your system so what you do is like uh, I'll just try to show you uh, some more detail 0.25 and then see if it is working I'll just click on drag you can see that my system gets lagged so it's happening very slowly but the only thing is like if you get it done it is a very detailed model which has come in so in order to do this kind of a modeling it's quite difficult without this kind of a brush which is available very much uh, free in blender kit so these are the things which are available in blender kit which can be used uh, in uh, in our workflow to increase the speed of uh, working in blender so i'll just show you one more option out here maybe i'll just go and find out um, a landscape which can be used uh, in architecture visualization so we'll wait and see if we have some uh, landscaping details which has come in we can use this for uh, creating some sand dunes or something like that just click here and then if you just uh, come here and uh, increase this maybe to one and then start dragging you can see that the landscape is it helps us to do some detailing just like that zoom out and do uh, increase the strength of the brush increase the radius and then do it again you can see that we get quite a detailed mesh out here so this is how we utilize uh, the blender kit uh, online asset library in blender 2.8 series so it's quite a useful tool and uh, try to use this tool in your uh, different kind of architecture visualizations and it is uh, quite handy and very useful for giving a detailed materials it is having a lot of ppr materials in that and also some uh, models which are very uh, realistic and very detailed so try to use these uh, in your uh, workflow and uh, make use of it to the best so we also have some uh, online tutorials in architectural visualization if you go into www.buildonideas.in you can see a detailed architectural visualization course in which we are explaining how to uh, import a plan into blender using the autocad and then give diff different items different details into blender architectural visualization and then get a professional output out of it so have a look at it and then if you're interested in uh, having a detailed course on that try to uh, go into that and then purchase it and use it uh, in your workflow so if you like this uh, video kindly uh, give us a thumbs up as well as if you have some doubts kindly comment below also if you like this channel kindly do subscribe this channel so that you get um, our best videos which are coming in so all the best